Today is April 4th, <clears throat> 2013. Uh, I have strep throat right now, so excuse the way I'm talking. <clears throat> um, I got on the scale this morning because I felt like I was gaining weight and I haven't weighed myself in a very long time. I just kind of fell off of my challenge. Um, I'm not really sure why I'm just a lot of stuff going on emotionally, I guess. And, um, I turn to food when I am stressed out. I comfort eat. I used to not be like that. Um, it's interesting how, uh, things change as you get older. It's just different. Anyway, squirrel. So I got on the scale this morning and I weighed, um, almost 230 pounds. So I am officially the heaviest weight I've ever been in my life. Um, over the last two and a half years, I've kind of yo-yoed a little bit. Um, I, I was up at the, my heaviest, uh, right after I gave birth to my surrogate baby Lily. Um, and then I lost all of that baby weight that I had gained my first month after she was born. I went on the Body by Body 90 Day Challenge, lost all that weight in one month, um, lost a total of 43 pounds on the Via Challenge, and my cats are fighting on the bed. <laughs> um, anyway, I lost 43 pounds total on the Via Challenge, and then I stopped doing the challenge, um, for a variety of reasons, which I won't go into at the moment. Mostly it was kind of an emotional thing for me. Um, cat, quit being crazy. <clears throat> Anywho, so I gained back all of the weight that I lost and then some. Um, and it wasn't because, it wasn't just because I stopped the challenge. People always ask, you know, if, if I stop drinking the shakes, will I gain the weight back? Well, no, you won't if you continue the good eating habits that you were also doing while you were on the challenge. I did not continue the good eating habits. I ate like crap. Um, I was diagnosed with celiac and I continued to eat like crap. I would eat things with wheat and grains and just all, all the stuff I'm not supposed to eat. I eat a ton of sugar, not sweets, but sugar. You know, I put a lot of sugar in my tea or my coffee, you know, all that stuff adds up. Um, you know, I've been on a caramel corn kick for the last week. We went up ice skating and of course, you know, at the Lloyd Center, they have this amazing caramel corn shop and I bought crap tons of caramel corn and I've been eating it every day. I've been eating drumsticks, um, you know, and I don't like ice cream. Just drumsticks. <laughs> so anyway, my point is I have been eating like absolute crap. Um, and dang, does my body reflect it both the way that it feels like I just feel icky and the way that it looks. I'm gaining weight. I'm getting squishier and squishier. I'm not fitting into my pants anymore. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Don't even get me started. So... I don't know why I'm telling you guys this except for I, I want to be totally honest and accountable and um, just let you know where I'm at. Um, it's not all peaches and cream and roses and it's not the easiest thing to do losing weight or staying on a challenge or whatever you're doing for yourself. Um, I need help. I, I really need like, you know, I, I'm addicted to food, so I need addiction help. Um, there's Overeater Anonymous groups. I got the book. Um, I don't think I'm ready to go yet, though, to the, to, to the meetings. Um, anyway, I did start roller derby, which is awesome. And um, I haven't made it to very many of the practices. Um, just everything keeps coming up, either getting sick or getting injured, tearing a quad, um, kid stuff, whatever. It, it always seems to be something. And, um, I have to just start clearing my schedule and going no matter what, you know, and just letting, 
kids know and everybody else know, I am not available on practice nights. Sorry. Um, this has to be my me time. This has to be what I do to get me back to me. So um, I've got to draw a line in the sand. And uh, I need help. <laughs> I need help drawing that line in the sand. So if anybody watching this has experience overcoming a food addiction and overcoming the feeling of I can't exercise because it hurts and I'm too fat and blah 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 I need help I need your advice I need your support I need your accountability I need you to do it with me I mean oh my gosh I just um, really really need help and I'm putting this video out there as a call to help um, this is my cry for help, guys. Uh, I'm really hoping that today is my shifting point. I tried on a pair of pants. Um, I got a new Batman shirt. Yay! Which is super cool. And I wanted to wear it with my size 18 angel jeans, which are my favorite jeans in the whole wide world. And, um, I haven't really been in jeans a whole heck of a lot because I, I uh, work as a business analyst, so I'm always in professional clothes, and they're stretchy. Um, but I put on my jeans today, and I could not button them up at all. If I would have buttoned them up, I would have had the most horrific muffin top in the world. That was a big eye-opener for me because I've never been bigger than a size 18. I have a size 20 pants that, are, that always used to fall off me. Um, now they don't fall off. So... Today was a huge eye-opener for me. Um, I refuse to go to the store and buy 20s. I will not do it. So, I'm going to go and make myself a shake right now and put myself back on the challenge because I have been off for months. I still talk about it. I still post pictures, but I haven't been doing it myself. Um, so, right now, I'm going to go make a shake, and I'm going to start now <sighs> treating my body like I need to be treating it. Now, <clears throat> in the past, I've always fallen off and I've always stopped relatively quickly and I go back to eating crap and, you know, husband will bring me home treats thinking he's being nice and really it just tells me, it's okay, you can start tomorrow and I can't do that anymore and I don't need that. So I need help from you guys to be strong and to fight the cravings and to fight the addiction and to stick to just being healthy you know, whatever it is, whether it's my challenge or whether it's just eating healthy food, you know, chicken and rice and whatever. Um, and I need help being accountable, staying with my exercise program that I've chosen, which is my derby. Um, so can you guys please do me a favor and just comment on this and let me know if you're supporting me and if you can help me. Text me, email me, call me, comment me, Facebook me, whatever you need to do. I really, really need your help. So that's where I'm at today, April 4th, 2013, almost 230 pounds. It was like 229. Um, I'll check back in. I don't know when. I can't. I'm not going to commit to checking back in every day or every week because I've constantly said I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, and I don't do it. So I have to stop doing that. I'm just going to do what I can do when I can do it. And if you help me, it will help me to be more accountable. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon. Wish me luck.